Hi guys, it's Bren again. I'm back. This is Clover. Say hello. She, she's kind of shy. Look, she looks really excited to talk about wallflowers. I love wallflowers. Um, so welcome to my wallflower extravaganza. I've been promoting this for a while in my last couple videos. I keep saying I'm going to do a review of the fall ones that I got. I got quite a few of them. I have them all here in this little egg crate, which has worked out really well while I'm switching them all out and reviewing them the last uh, few days here. Uh, so first I'll talk about the fall ones. I'll give them a review and then I will do a little, um, collection video, I guess. I show you all my plugs and what I've got. It's really not too much, but I figured we'll just do all wallflowers today. So I've been up like half the night. It's been a really long day, but it's okay. I've got a good beer and I've got lots of Bath and Body Works stuff everywhere. So uh, the ones that I'm going to be reviewing for you today are the Banana Nutmeg Bread Pudding Wallflower. There's that glare again. It's the way I have my light positioned. Uh, and the Vanilla Chai, both from the Artisan Collection. And then I have the Heirloom Pumpkin from the Fresh Picked Collection. That's been out the longest. And then from the Pumpkin Cafe Collection, I have Pumpkin Spiced Cider, uh, Pumpkin Cupcake, the old favorite, and Pumpkin Caramel Swirl, and Pumpkin Caramel Latte. So those are the ones I'm going to go over. Um, there are some others. Uh, let's see. I had notes on this. Here they are. In these collections. Um, in the Artisan collection, there's a Wasabi Apple Wallflower. I did a review on the candle. It's posted. That lets you know how I feel about that. Um, and there's also Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin in a Pumpkin Cafe Wallflower. And I didn't get that one. You know, they have it every year. So you guys probably know what that one is like. I would think there would be a Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Wallflower because I heard there was going to be a Pumpkin Pecan Waffles scent portable. But I haven't seen either one yet. So um, I don't have those for you. And then, of course, in the other collections, the We Love Fall collection and the Autumn Nights collection, there are tons of wallflowers, too. But I just picked up these. These are the ones they had that I was interested in reviewing. So let's get started. First, I'll talk about the banana. So I bought two of these because I was pretty sure that I would like it a lot. Um, and unfortunately, I'm slightly disappointed. Let me, uh, I guess before I get too into it, let me let you know what I did with these. So all of these uh, seven different scents, I had them plugged in in my home for at least like a couple days each. I mean, I would have one in the living room, one in the bedroom where they couldn't really interfere with one another. But I also tested them all out in my bathroom. So I tested them in a small space so that I could really get a good sense for what they smelled like. But then I also tested them in a big space so I could see how they were throwing. Um, wallflowers in general, my thoughts on them are they're super cute and I love all the scents that they come in and I love that they're from Bath and Body Works where I always have coupons and get deals. Um, I don't think that they're the strongest type of air freshener out there. I, uh, I love air wicks too. Air wick plugs are ugly and plain. You know, they just look like this, <laughs> boring, but they have some really good scents as well, and they are way stronger. So I use an airwick in my laundry room because that's where Clover's litter box is, you know. Um, but wallflowers, I can't help but, but get them, you know, because they're just so adorable. And so the banana. Um, this one... Much like the candle, when it's cold, it smells like uh, like a banana candy. But as the candle does when it's burning, this one, when it warms up, loses that. And you don't really get that banana. I go back and forth with both the candle and the wallflower. Does this smell like banana or not? Like, it's, some days I think it does, some days it doesn't. If it does, it definitely isn't that fake banana candy smell when it's warm. It's, um, it's like a real banana smell. But what I mostly was getting from this at First, now, this was just the when I first had it plugged in, like the first day or so, um, it smelled more like a cookie, like uh, like a sweet dessert, but not vanilla, not caramel, just um, like a chocolate chip cookie with no chocolate. Or if you've ever had a brownie that's a blondie, like that. Or I thought of like for some reason a white chip macadamia cookie. That's what I was getting. So not a too too sweet of a dessert, but still a dessert scent. And I actually, I liked it. I thought it was pleasant. And as I said with the candle, it was a really good pre-fall scent, like a transitional scent, not totally as spicy as like some of the, the pumpkin scents, you know, if you're not ready for that yet. But if you're done with summer, this I thought was good. I was planning on getting a few more of these. I even thought I'll buy four more. I, I could do six. And then they started to turn. 
So sometimes wallflowers turn in color, you know, after you've used them for a while, they get kind of yellow, sort of burnt. But I don't know that I've ever had one change in smell as much as this one did. After I'd had them in, both of them, for like a couple of days, I would walk into my place and be like, what smells like peanuts? <laughs> I thought they smelled like nuts. And I know there's supposed to be nutmeg in the banana nutmeg bread pudding, but, but all I could smell was like burnt peanuts. It's really not what I wanted my place to smell like. Maybe kind of like peanut butter. I don't know why. I don't know why this happened, but definitely that's what I have been getting more recently. So now I definitely won't be buying more. I don't, I have some other ones that I want to return and I, I don't like exchanging things I've used if I don't absolutely hate it. I don't, so I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet, but I have to say based on that, I don't recommend them. Um, if anyone else has had this um, happen to them or has discovered this, uh, comment and let me know because I'm really curious, but that is, that was my experience. Um, so as far as strength goes, uh, not the strongest, not as strong as some of the other pumpkin scents and the really spicy ones, but it was pretty typical for a wallflower. I would say like a four or five out of 10 on strength. Um, not incredibly weak, but I could get a whiff of it like when I walked by um, or when I was paying attention, but it wasn't like in my face. Um, and as far as throw, uh, really only maybe maybe about a three or four as far as throw goes. They were not like filling up the apartment or anything, but overall, um, I would not give these a good rating, maybe like a three or something because they don't, they turned, they turned bad. So sadness. Um, I still like the candle. All right, but let's, uh, well, let's see, let's turn to something more positive. Um, let's talk about spiced pumpkin cider next because this one is one of my, there we go. Uh, one of my favorites. I love this one and I love the candle and I love this wallflower. This I'm getting more of for sure. So when I plug this in, like boom, it takes no time. It starts throwing right away. Um, really, really strong. Like this is uh, like a nine on strength. It's like an eight or nine on throw. I just had this one, you know, wallflower plugged in my whole apartment. You could smell it. Maybe not so much of when I had it in the living room as I get going all the way around into the bedroom. Um, but it's still like it's when I came home, it, it really was like, wow, you could smell it. And it's so, so delicious. The only thing I wish I had is I wish I had a pumpkin apple wallflower. I know that that will be coming out as part of We Love Fall, and I, it's online already, but they didn't have it in my store. Um, I compared the two candles in my candle review, and I said that the previous spiced cider from past years, it's sort this one, spiced pumpkin cider, is kind of like spiced cider meets pumpkin apple. It's a little more spicy than pumpkin apple, but uh, you still get that really sweet apple scent. It's just uh, with a little bit of spice. It's perfect. This one's great and amazing. Amazing. I give it a 10. I loved it. Um, and it's so, so strong. So the only problem that anyone might have with it is if they uh, don't like something that's really strong. If you're a person like me that might have like multiple wallflowers in the same space, um, sometimes I would plug two of the very same scent in, one in the living room, one in the kitchen, if I really wanted a lot of um, scent. With this one, I would not do that. Like two would just knock you over. One is good enough, but I will stock up. Okay, beer break. Let's talk about the clovey, clovey ones next, uh, which means vanilla chai and heirloom pumpkin. They're both very uh, much full of clove. So how do I want to do this? I'll talk about heirloom pumpkin first. Okay, here it is again. Heirloom pumpkin, once again, part of the Fresh Pick collection. And from what I hear, this is pumpkin carving from last year repackaged. Now, I did not think I would like this. I didn't. People said I would. They said it was really, really good, but I, I don't know. See, I don't like clove. You guys know that by now if you've been watching all my videos. Um, but I plugged it in and I was pleasantly surprised when I walked in the bathroom and I was like, hmm, it smells good. Now this to me, it smells like pumpkin pie filling. Supposedly it's the truest pumpkin scent Bath and Body Works has. Um, and that, but that doesn't mean it smells like a fresh pumpkin. I don't think anyone would want to my dog's playing with stuff in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but you probably can. Sorry. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, we're all having fun here tonight. Um, it smells like, to me, um, pumpkin pie, just the filling. No crust, no whipped cream. It doesn't have any frosting or caramel or anything else like all the rest of these, but it still smells spiced, not, not like raw pumpkin. Um, so to me, like I said, pumpkin pie filling. If you were to just scoop it out, that's what this smells like. 
I don't even like to eat pumpkin pie. That's how much I don't like clove. But I will keep this wallflower. I won't get it in the candle. I won't get any more because that's my personal preference. However, I do recommend it because I'm being objective here. And I know that other people like clove and they like pumpkin pie and they really like this. So um, overall, I'm really impressed with it. It, uh, it also throws like a champ, and it's really strong. It's like a 9 on strength, too. I, I have it all written down here in my notes. Uh, I gave it a 9 on strength. I gave it an 8 on throw. Um, this one and the spice cider, I had them in the bathroom, and they were going way out of the bathroom. They were overpowering the ones I had in the living room. Um, so it's really strong. For me, it's like a 6 or a 7 because I don't like clove, but if you do, then this is your 10. Um, it's great. And like I said, even though I don't like clove, I'm still going to keep this one and uh, and like it. it. To a point, it gives you that generic craft store type scent that we all talk about a little bit, um, but it's good. It's good. So I want to kind of talk about that one back to back with vanilla chai because vanilla chai is also clove. Um, chai tea has clove in it. That's why. I don't get any vanilla from this. I didn't from the candle either. Neither did my mother. It's just clove. It's a clove set. Uh, clove is a strong spice though. So I expected this to be really strong and it's not. Um, it was not throwing near as strong or just being, you know, as, uh, as in your face as heirloom pumpkin. Um, this is really just clove. It's like the heirloom pumpkin without any other pumpkin spices. You know, in heirloom pumpkin, you get some cinnamon and some other things that you might put in pumpkin pie or whatever. Um, and this is just clove. Um, so I like, I wouldn't recommend this one just cause I'd say get heirloom pumpkin instead. That's better. But I guess if you didn't want, you know, the pumpkin spice, you really just wanted clove. I mean, I know some people will like this. I'm not knocking it completely, but it was still strong, and a clove set really can't be weak, though. It just wasn't as strong as some of the others. So I gave it, a, like, a 7 on strength, and it was only really throwing, like, a 6 or a 7. It wasn't, like, crazy strong. You know, a little stronger than the banana one. But overall, this whole artisan line really isn't impressing me. So that's how I felt about that one. And then there's good old pumpkin cupcake. Everybody likes pumpkin cupcake. I've had this one in past years, but I wanted to include it in the review because it's, you know, it's a favorite. And this is your pumpkin scent with your sweet dessert scent. I mean, it's uh, it's vanilla, like a buttercream frosting scent with pumpkin. I feel like I don't have to say too much about it because we all know what it smells like maybe. I mean, it's so good though. I have this right now as a scent portable and I stuck it in my car, even though it's a little premature because it's only August. But every time I get in my car now, I'm like, hmm, it smells so good. The only problem is it makes you want to eat cake. Um, this one is pretty good on strength and throw as well. Not like spice cider or heirloom, but like maybe third in line out of the ones. Well, no, I haven't got to the caramel ones yet. Those are crazy strong too. Um, it's still strong enough. It's probably like a seven or a, what did I give it? I gave it a 7 on strength, and I gave it a 7 on throw. But overall rating, I gave it an 8 because I just like the scent uh, so much. And it was definitely throwing enough. Um, what else can I say about it? Nothing, I guess. It's just, it's good. You either like it or you don't. You either like really sweet dessert type scents or you don't. If you do, then this is the perfect fall one. Dessert meets fall. Okay, so now we've got two caramel scents left. The caramel pumpkin swirl and the pumpkin caramel latte. Um, it doesn't really matter which one I talk about first because to me they were very similar. Um, these two I had them plugged in separately and then I started putting one in my living room and one in my bedroom because I couldn't tell the difference. Now I can tell the difference when I smell them cold and I smell one and then I smell the other um, because this is more purely caramel. Honestly, you know, if anything, maybe it smells like caramel with like a touch of cinnamon. And when I smelled this candle in the test store, to me, I was reminded of cinnamon frosting, which I thought, that's really weird. Those two things shouldn't smell the same. And it doesn't say on here that there's any cinnamon note in the description. I haven't been reading the descriptions. I'm not big on that. But this one says, enjoy a marvelous mixture of two of fall's most delicious scents, a sweet, smooth caramel swirls fresh pumpkin. Um... So I just get pumpkin or caramel with a touch of cinnamon, but it's really, really, really sweet. 
sickening sweet. If you like pumpkin pecan waffles, maybe you would like this because if you like that really sickening sweet, if you like summer boardwalk, maybe you'd like this. It's too sweet for me. It makes me get that sticky, <laughs> sticky feeling that I talked about in one of my other videos. It reminds me of having like sticky fingers or something. It doesn't smell clean to me, so I don't like it. I'm going to be returning it. Um, I would recommend if you do like caramel though, the pumpkin caramel latte over the uh, caramel pumpkin swirl. I think that this one is better. This one is a little bit richer. Um, the season's best latte are artfully made from a rich blend of creamy pumpkin and spiced caramel topped with tall peaks of sweet cream. I mean, they're basically the same. Um, it smells a little darker and dirtier, I guess, than the other one. Um, and if you smell a pumpkin caramel latte, though, if you go to Starbucks and you order one, it kind of, you don't really smell a very strong like coffee scent, I feel like. So in that way, this is true to that. Um, but I don't really get like a lot of coffee. It's more just like a little bit deeper of a caramel scent. But and, and like I said, cold, I can smell the difference. When they were plugged in, they were exactly the same. But if I had to pick one, I would pick this one. Yeah, I, they're both too sweet for me. I'm not big on caramel. I personally am going to return them both. But I can see why some people might like this. And so, you know, if you like the really sweet, I would go with this one over this one. They were both crazy strong. I had them plugged in. I came home. I opened the door. I was like, whoa, it smells so strong, like caramel in here. Um, I can't even hardly rate them in that aspect like they were throwing just as strong as spiced cider you know nines I, they're just uh, uh very intense but again very similar so uh i out of all the ones i got i will be exchanging these three and i still haven't decided what i'm going to do about the banana ones i'd like to keep one just for as a collection aspect but i don't know that i need two or i don't know maybe i'll keep trying one out uh, these three will go back for more spiced ciders, maybe a pumpkin apple so I could compare it to the spiced cider because I'd really like to do that. Um, maybe I'll grab another pumpkin cupcake. I don't know. Uh, so those are the fall ones. I hope that information kind of helps you out a little bit. Uh, in general, the fall wallflowers are just stronger than like summer wallflowers because fall scents are so spicy and they're just going to be kind of intense and kind of strong. Um, so let me transition a little bit here now because I think that's everything I had to say about those fall ones. I don't think there's anything else. Um, and let me just kind of show you a little bit of my wallflower collection. Now, when I say collection, I'm using that word very loosely uh, because with soaps, lotions, wallflowers, I do not try to hoard them. I don't usually buy more unless I've used up the ones that I have. I go through them. I go through spurts where... I want to use them all up. Like I just went through this with soap where I was like, I'm not going to buy any more soaps until I've used up all the soaps that I have. And so I'm not really collecting. Candles in that aspect would be the only thing that I collect because I will buy more no matter how many I have. And I buy some just to kind of keep and hang on to sometimes. So I'm not like that with anything else. What you're going to see is not very impressive, but I figured why not? I'll tack it on. We're only 18 minutes in, right? I can do a longer video than that. Should I start with the plugs or the bulbs? I'll start with the plugs. I'll show you my plugs. All right, now let's grab this one first because it's got a bulb attached. So right now I have this one in my bathroom because it matches my shower curtain. Um, it's a new one. What I don't like is that this keeps peeling up and every time it gets warm, it comes off. You would think that Bath & Body Works would have heat-proof glue at this point, but this is coming off. I'm wondering if they just uh, maybe recently changed glue manufacturers because I've never had a label peel problem before either, and as I showed you previously, my Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow label is also peeling off, so that's awesome. So that's the only thing I don't like about this plug, otherwise I think it's kind of cute and it feels cool. Right now I've got... Uh, a berry fizz bulb in there that's almost done. I'll, I'll save the bulb talk for later. What else have I got? I've got an anchor. I've got a flower. I got that at some annual, annual sale for like three bucks. Um, I've got a plain black plug. You don't see that anymore. This is old and I should probably throw it away because I don't really think it works very well anymore. But I've yet to see another black one and I like it so I keep it. Um, I've got the turtle. I love anything teal so he matches all my stuff perfectly. Uh, where's the other one I'm using right now? Oh yeah. Okay. Ladybug goes great in the kitchen because I've got red and black in there. Super cute as well. 
And then um, I have my all-time favorite all-season plug. Uh, this one, I this was my first actually not plain wallflower plug. And I got it at a Bath & Body Works near Chicago that is like not at all um, close to me. And I never saw it at the one close to me. But isn't that just the best butterfly? I mean, they have some very intricate butterflies, but I'm more of a modern person, so I like very clean, modern type things. And so this is my perfect butterfly. And it, you, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like iridescent, the wings are. Now here's the problem. Uh, this plug is like pretty much dead. It doesn't put off a lot of heat. It's probably a fire hazard, but I keep using it because I just think it's so pretty. So I've considered I should take this, I could take it off, you know, and I could attach it to a new plug, but I'm not sure how to do that other than with glue. But of course I would have to find some like hardcore heat proof, fireproof glue. And I have yet to be as so ambitious as to go to the hardware store and do that. But um, I just, yeah, that's my favorite. And the turtle is also kind of my favorite. Fall plugs, I've got the pumpkin. They have this out again this year. Uh, I think it's the exact same. Oh no, you know what? This year it's a nightlight. This one's not a nightlight. You know what I don't like about the nightlights? The fact that you can't turn them off. You know, you can unplug them, but there's no on off switch. Like I would like to be able to turn off the light, but still have it working. Um, and so I buy the not nightlight ones. I would like to have a nightlight one though, if I could just turn the light off. Uh, then this is the red oak leaf from last year. They have one this year that I like better. It has a silver lining around it. Um, but I feel stupid buying that one when I have this one, which is almost the same. And then I've got some holiday plugs. Last year I got the tree. I got the snowman. Um, and none of my plugs, again, are super old because I haven't been doing this very long. I mean, I've do been doing candles longer than wallflowers. Then I've got the snowflake, but it's uh, I tilted it because in my bathroom it sits in, like, the corner. And when it's tilted, it's, like, faces out towards everybody. So whatever. I kind of busted that one. So those are my plugs. That's all I've got. I mean, I've had other, I've smoked, actually I have other like really plain ones. I've had other ones that just go dead and I throw them away because they'll tell you in the store, don't use them when they're old to burn your house down, but I've never had a problem like that. Um, as far as plugs or balls, I've got a bag of bulbs here. Um, I had some, well, first of all, I kept some empties. I never do that, but I knew I was going to do this video. So I've got some summer sips empties. Like I said, I've got the berry fizz in here now. It's almost gone. And what I liked about this one, I didn't really like the scent, but I loved the pretty blue color. Um, but now it's like a nasty swamp water green color because it's getting to the end. And like I said, they get kind of burnt and weird. So yeah, that, that one was okay. Not super strong. None of the summer sips were strong. I also had mango, whatever this is, coconut cooler and a nectarine green tea. These are empty now. I'm going to throw them away after this video. But uh, I saved them to show you guys. Not, not too impressed with that. So what do I have stockpiled here? Well, first of all, here's some Airwicks. Ooh, this is my favorite Airwick. American Samoa. It smells like co sweet coconut and island palms. It's strong as heck. Um, I have, uh, I feel like I should do this seasonally. Um, but that's not going to happen because they're just all in this bag. I should organize this better. I'm doing this all in one shot so far, by the way, which is amazing. Um, okay, vanilla coconut is one of my favorites for like any time of year, um, you know, and I, I didn't like the set at first. I was like, I don't smell vanilla or coconut in it, but I guess I kind of do now. Other people do when they come over, they can detect what it is. So I've got a couple of those from, this is from the outlet mall, I think is why it's in that little box. Um, I know I've got another one of those loose somewhere in here. Here it is, actually. I found it. So, I'm pretty sure they still have that one around. Um, summer ones. I've got a watermelon lemonade. I just got so sick of this scent. And I've got, like, this one left. It's never been plugged in, and it's kind of turning yellow. I have, like, almost, like, a little bit left of a tiki beach. I should just get rid of that. Um, I've got... An old Meet Me in Tahiti, and I had three of these, but this was the only one that was open, and I returned a couple for, like, I got, like, two bucks each for them or something, um, because I liked the scent, and then I got sick of it. Uh, this is one of my favorite new ones. I have one and a half left, the Palm Leaves. Palm Leaves was the only scent that I liked at all from the Coastal Cool collection, and I didn't even like it in a candle. I didn't buy any Coastal Cool candles, but I did really enjoy these wallflowers. They're kind of like the green grass, um green grass but like way milder 
um, and kind of a little bit more perfumey, but still that fresh like plant type smell. Speaking of green grass, here's an old green grass one. This is hands down the strongest wallflower, the strongest air freshener I've ever used in my life. You plug this thing in, your allergies start acting up. It's like someone mowed the lawn in the next room. It is so crazy, wildly strong, this one. Um, that's why I haven't used it. It's too intense. Like I didn't, wouldn't think that anything would be too intense for me. I love strength and something that throws really well, but this sucker is nuts. Um, so I've just got the one. Some people really like it, but it's just, is way too much for me. What else have I got? What else have I got? A couple coconut leaves. Uh, I love this scent in January when like I really need to get away and there's still four feet of snow outside and will be for four more months up here. Um, makes me feel like I'm on vacation. Uh, I used a lot of these just this year. I used these from like January all the way through like June at least. Like this was my scent and I'm still not sick of that one. So that's good. I've got a Tokyo Petals. Um, I've used a couple of these, but I think this is my last one. I use this in my bathroom. It's really good like mild type of mild but it's there type scent. Here's one I don't like, sandalwood vanilla. This is really old. I can't return it anymore. Um, it's way too, what is it? Floral or something for me? I don't know. It's really strong though too, but I don't like it. Anybody want it? Yeah, let's see. Um, I think that might be Everything I have down to Christmas. Okay, everything else I have it in here is Christmas. All right, a couple favorites of mine. Frosted Cranberry is an all-time favorite. Uh, I will use this year-round. In fact, I was just using a Frosted Cranberry in my bedroom before I started doing the reviews. Um, it's just a really good berry scent. And it's funny, for me, I had a... Uh, I had like a wild berry Airwick air freshener way back when I was in college and lived in a dorm room and I had it in my dorm room. This smells like that. And so this scent is very nostalgic for me. It like brings me back to my college days. Um, I've always loved it. Love it in the candle. Love it in everything. I've got those two in that scent and I've also got uh, a few more in here. Here's another one. Here's another one. This is also frosted cranberry. No, it's cranberry wood. So I've got five of those total. Not like you really care about that, but. And then, what's this and what's this? Okay, then there's Tis the Season. Um, and I also really like this one. So I've got a two pack here. Now these bulbs are not red colored. They are white. I wish they were red. I prefer, that's something I haven't said yet, colored wallflower bulbs. The only danger with that is sometimes they don't match the plug you want to put them in, but the yellow and white ones are just so boring. I would much rather have a pretty one like the blue or something. Um, so many of them are just yellow. Um, here's two Tis the Seasons that are red from last year. I like this better. And I have two Cranberry Woods. So, well, one and a half. Um, slightly tangier than Frosted Cranberry and dirtier, I don't know, makes sense. I have a cinnamon, one cinnamon frosting that the label fell off. This one's really old and I hate it. I love this in the candle. Love, love, love it. But this is a situation where the wallflower and the candle do not smell the same to me. And every time I try to plug in this wallflower, I gag a little bit. It's really strong. So I tried to use it in the, in the cat room. Um, but I don't know. I still just can't stand it. Then it goes out in my other rooms and I'm like, yuck. By the way, I'm a super clean person. And you would never know that I had a cat, but I still put one in there because I'm paranoid because I really don't want it to smell like a cat, but it doesn't. Um, <laughs> I've got one frosted gingerbread bulb left over from last year. That's a really sweet one. I love that soap. That candle didn't make it, but the wallflower did last year. That was interesting. And finally, this is it. Three vanilla snowflakes. That's a good good vanilla winter scent. That's it. That's all the wallflowers and the plugs that I have. Like I said, I go through them. I throw them out. I don't really collect them. So it's not too impressive. But anyway, we're at a half hour now of me sitting here. My beer's getting warm. And so I'm gonna uh, let you guys go. Uh, now the next time that I see you might 
be holiday test candles. I don't know. If not, it might be a September 3rd haul or who knows what I'll come up with before then. Um, I might just get something random and decide to review it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for giving it a like. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I haven't put too much on there yet, but when those holiday test candles come out, you better believe there will be tons of pictures. Um, so that again is at Wake Up Writing. And uh, I guess I will see you guys later. Maybe I should stretch it out for eight more seconds so I can reach 30 minutes exactly. I'll probably do a little editing though after this. So, um, all right. See you later.